Well, Joan Rivers called him a star, and he's known as the crown prince of Aussie comedy. Maybe he coined that title himself, I'm not so sure. <laughs> also, he is a self-confessed shameless fame whore. Returning to New Zealand with his comedy festival, Poser, please welcome to the cafe, Joel Creasy. Yes. Thank you. The coffees, I've had like three coffees since I've been here. I'm really, I'm a wide awake. Yeah, I love it here. Be fine. Well, you need to be, because you've just come back from the Ukraine, where you're hosting the Australian bit of the Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah, I was, I was commentating Eurovision for Australia for the first time. How, what do you, a, how do you get that gig? I was stoked. Well, the, um, the previous host did it for eight years. They resigned and they gave me a call and said, do you want to go to Eurovision? I'm like, asking me if I want to go to Eurovision? Like, the answer is always going to be yes. yes. That's like asking a vegan if they want to bring down the mood of a barbecue. The answer is yes <laughs> every time. Of course I do. Hey, what was the Ukraine like? Weird. <laughs> like, yeah. It was odd. I didn't realise. I think when if Eurovision's in town, you're never going to really get a proper view of the city. It's like the, the Olympics. Yeah. Uh, but it was amazing. A lot of, um, of grey. <laughs> but they were really nice and so cheap, so cheap the Ukraine. Oh, Cocktails are like three good. bucks. I'm going to move there. Oh, they wow. like the sexuality. Are they? Um, you know, okay. well, it's kind of fine. It was, well, it's weird because it's kind of like Eurovision in Ukraine. It's like you know performing a drag show at your homophobic auntie's house. <laughs> um, but I think with Eurovision in town, everyone was just like cool with it. So and how did you handle the uh, gate crash for the Australian performer? Because um, we were live on air commentating yeah. at the time, and you know I was like, we well, didn't expect to see Dad. So um, <laughs> no, because it turns out he wasn't Australian. Right. It was some Ukrainian prankster. Got right. five years jail. Well, that's what he's five years at. jail? Yeah, I know. For getting that's his butt bit, out. That's a little bit harsh, isn't it? Not a great butt either. Mm. <laughs> You're going to get your butt mm. out at Eurovision where everyone's so hot and toned and, mm. yeah, man, you know, you want to do some, you know, some exercise before. Um, you were also, apart from, you, you've done loads of other things, but you were on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Yes, the first Aussie version of that, which is essentially... I don't see like you in the jungle eating no. snakes and being covered in all sorts of stuff. Yeah, it's quite funny, because it, it's like, you know, it's where they find 12 celebrities who just happen to have six weeks available. It's in a really <laughs> high caliber people. <laughs> I can like, go for a year, how long did it for? I am free as a bird. And yeah, and you're just in the jungle eating eyeballs with these other, these other celebrities, and it's, it was a weird experience. In a, and you're actually in Africa. A good wow. experience, though, I would imagine. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if you want to know what a, a raw uh, uh, ostrich eyeball tastes like, let me know. OK, I'm, good. Uh, any good drama? Did you learn any good drama from your fellow celebs? Um, I had a few. I had a fight with Murph Hughes, a really famous cricketer. We had a big yes. yelling oh, yeah. match yeah. across the camp one day, across the fire. I was just tired and I told him to shut up and it was a yelling match. He had a machete <laughs> in his hand, because just, just by chance, because he'd been chopping wood, but it makes it look even more aggressive than it actually I'm was. I'm going to Google that. Yeah, it's fun. And Marsha Brady was there, the original Marsha Brady from the Brady Bunch was one of the other celebrities on my season. Didn't realise she was in Africa till about week four. She looked a little, bit, <laughs> a little crazy, that one. Did she have a good life, a successful <laughs> life? So what's Poser all about? All about that sort of stuff. Right. It's just, um, okay, cool. you can go and see, you know, uh, comedian shows at the festivals that'll, you know, with a real political message or co comics that'll, you know, get, you know, uh, you know, change your, your view on a world topic. I don't do any of that. You know, right. if anything, you'll leave my show dumber, but hopefully you have a life. <laughs> it's just about celebrities and my life and all the scandalous stuff I get up it's to. Like picking my... up a trashy magazine and reading it cover to cover? Precisely. It's oh, like just usually. going to a dinner party with your, your gossipy mate. Well, let's oh, have a look, yeah. shall we? OK. A oh, bit, God, of you, right. bit of Joel. Look, people always ask gay men the same question. You always get asked the same question, like, uh, like, oh, when did you know you were gay? And have you ever had sex with a woman? And should I buy this dress? And, like, I... <laughs> I have always known, like, I, I can't put a time limit on that. I have always known I was gay. Like, maybe it was when I was, when I was five and I thought the Teletubbies were too butch. <laughs> maybe it was when I was one and my mum was breastfeeding me and I stopped her and I said, look, let's just be friends. Like, I have always... <laughs> So you first so you first stand up at age fifteen. Yeah. You came out at age sixteen. Did you did you need to come out? Was I was so really disappointing. Obvious? I thought like there was gonna be this like I really like a picture this big dramatic scenario where I'd tell my parents to be like, get out of here and I'd run away from home for two weeks and then they'd come to their senses and find me and I'd be on like a street corner being like, It's a hard knock life <laughs> well, I call Annie style, like backing dancers ticketed event. Um, but no, I, to I told I said to, I did, said to my parents, I'm gay and they go, Okay, cool. I said, what? <laughs> and they said, cool, we're having pasta for dinner. <laughs> well, you clearly didn't hurt me. I said, I'm gay, I can't eat carbs anymore, can I? But it's the most homophobic thing you could say, Mum. Come on, I've got to get to the gym. Oh, and oh, you also, you supported Joan Rivers on, yeah. on, um, on tour as well. What was she like? The single most incredible human I've ever met. So humble and down to earth. And, um, and I've worked with heaps of, you know, huge comics who have these, or even artists that have these insane backstage writer requests. And I feel like if anybody could have gotten away with some big demands backstage, it was 81-year-old Joan Rivers. Uh, her rider was always just a prawn cocktail and a glass of house red. Ooh. I just think that is the most fabulous thing <laughs> ever. Like, that so beautiful. sounds tremendous. Ooh, yeah. Thank you so more. much, Joel. Want to hear more. You're so welcome. Join us now. If you'd like to see Joel's show, Poser, he 
along to the Live Nation website on screen right now for details. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank Elf. you. I've had so much coffee. I need to go on for a jog or something. <laughs> good, good. <laughs>